15, probably about 20 years ago. Um, I moved to Pittsburgh in 96, and that's when I really got sucked in. All right, so what kind of drew you in? Um, just, I was totally into the music. Um, I grew up originally in Carlisle, PA, and the scene was so varied. I mean, you'd have a show with a punk rock band, followed by a ska band, followed by a hardcore band that would headline with a boy band. And like, and I came to Pittsburgh, and actually my first hardcore show was at Club Laga. It was Zaya, Blindside, Vision of Disorder, and Earth Crisis. And I remember like rolling in there, I had like, like, you know, punk rock shit on and stuff like that. And seeing everybody wearing like these jumpsuits and track suits. And when the band started to play, like just watching these guys just fucking kill each other. And you know what I mean? It just, I was hooked. That was, you know what I mean? What? In Pittsburgh at the time, um, Throughout like the next year, I started going to more and more shows and just kind of really dedicating a lot of my attention to our hardcore. Um, you had no retreat, pretty much. Uh, Built upon frustration, gut wrench were big names. Um, all the bands continued. Uh, Built upon broke up for a while and then got back together um, after no retreat had broken up. But through no retreat, um, you know what I mean with Belo having his connections to Northeast PA, I feel they were like the, the key to bringing the whole state together. Because, like the first time I went out on the road with no retreat, we went out and opened up for Bushmouth and Crutch. And it was right around Halloween, and like Frank walked down on the stage, he had a, a pumpkin carved that he had on his head with his hoodie up. And they did their, like, went into their intro, and he ripped the face of it out and tore it off his head and threw it on the dance floor. And it just exploded everywhere. And the kids just went fucking ballistic. And that was the second time I'd seen Mushmouth. But, like, the first time I actually got to hang out with everybody. And just through no retreat, I was able to make the best friends everybody could ever ask for. Oh, Club Laga. Uh, Millville Industrial Theater was huge, saw some great shows there. Um, Spot in Lawrenceville called Pink Pepper's Hot House. Uh, Club Graffiti. Um, you'd have different spots in Oakland, like The Attic. Um, like different CD warehouses there for a while in Latrobe. There's a place called the Rally Alley. There was an old car wash. It, it just, I remember it was like a fucking oven in there. Like, every show was like a thousand degrees. You'd have kids passing out from dancing. Right, right about now. Yeah, Pittsburgh's always been over the years up and down. Um, or, you know, it's, it's hard to find places to play. You know, there's been some periods of time where the shows have been, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of rough stuff happening at the shows, and it kind of deterred a lot of people away from it. Um, more or less, I think nowadays Pittsburgh is real into like the beatdown style, which I mean I've always been into and stuff. But I mean after 20 years of listening to you know chug chug chug, you know it just you know just kind of lose interest. Would you say that uh, Erie kind of had the torch when it came to the western part of PA? Uh, not really. Um, I mean they had a good scene. Uh, some of those kids would come down to Pittsburgh shows, especially like the early shows at Laga. Um, we would go up there to play their shows. Um, but, you know, they kind of had like their little niche in the scene with what a lot of the bands were into and the messages behind the music. You know, we had ours and we were kind of always more like drunk or rowdy or like, you know, we weren't afraid to stir up shit and we brought a fucking rough party. A lot of nights. A while. They were more like, it seemed like everybody from Erie that I met was like either militant straight edge or like weird Christian, like, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? It seems like they always wanted to, a lot of those kids wanted to judge me. Don't get me wrong, I know some good people up in Erie. But, you know, in the early days, yes. Clearfield was a real good spot. Um, you'd, you'd play a show like in like a fucking, it's like a storage shed out in the middle of like some park and there'd be over a hundred kids piling. Uh, you know, you had uh, Not Without Resistance, Clearfield. Uh, they did real well for a while. 